Welcome back to Happy Place Cooking. Today I'm going to be making some peanut butter honey rolls. This is basically a cinnamon roll recipe without the cinnamon mixture and I'm going to put in a peanut butter mixture and some honey. In my bowl I have two and three-fourths cup of flour. To that I'm going to add a mixture of granulated sugar and brown sugar and this totals about a fourth of a cup so about an eighth a cup of each i've got two teaspoons of baking powder and a fourth a teaspoon of baking soda a little less than a half a teaspoon of salt just gonna stir all that around and get all those dry ingredients mixed together now I'm going to add one egg, three-fourths cup of cold buttermilk, and I am using the powdered buttermilk, and five tablespoons of pretty much melted butter. I'm going to use my hand mixer and slowly mix all this together. You can see it's a little bit crumbly, but that's okay. I am actually going to use my hand and knead this together a little bit. I'm going to set that aside so that I can work on the filling. I have uh, about a fourth a cup of powdered sugar and about a fourth a cup of peanut butter. I'm going to add just a little bit of honey. I don't even, I'm not measuring it out. I'm going to say about maybe a teaspoon or two. I'm gonna try not to make a mess. I'm gonna add just a little bit of milk. Don't want too much. I'm trying to reach a certain consistency. Okay, a little bit more milk. Nice creamy consistency, exactly what I wanted. I would say I ended up adding approximately three tablespoons of milk before it was all said and done. Just gotta do it very slowly because if you add too much at one time, you may end up with soup. I do have a little bit here that I need to try to incorporate. Do a couple of needs to it here. Don't want to do too much. I'm going to roll this out. Now I am going to try to get this to be basically a rectangle. Might take me a little bit of work. I want it somewhat thick-ish, but not extremely thick. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to take my peanut butter mixture and I'm going to put it all on this and spread it out. Now I'm going to attempt to roll it up. I think, I could roll it. I think I'll roll it this way. I think I'm going to set this in the freezer for a few minutes and let it get nice and cold before I start to try to cut it. Okay, this is pretty cold. I want to get this done before the dough starts to get real soft again. So I'm going to take these and cut them about mm, maybe an inch, half inch to an inch, and I'm going to put them in this round pan, which I have melted butter in this pan and I think that will be better than using a cooking spray. I think it'll give off a better flavor than using a cooking spray. I got a baker's dozen out of that. I'm gonna put these in my preheated oven at 375 for probably somewhere between 22 to 27 or eight minutes. Just a 
just gonna let those cool. They are completely done. Took about 24 minutes in my oven. Now, if you wanted to, you could totally make a regular like cinnamon roll type glaze. I am not gonna do that. I am actually going to drizzle on honey. Okay, it is time to do the taste test. I'm gonna get this a little bit closer so that you can kind of see, hopefully. It is nice and fluffy. Smells really good. Got honey on there. Mmm. That's really good. <laughs> as far as I know, this was kind of somewhat my own recipe. That's really good. Not extremely sweet. So for people who like desserts that aren't overly sweet, this is definitely going to be for them. Pair great with your cup of coffee or your glass of milk. If you decide to give these a try, please come back, comment below. Let me know what you thought of them. Thanks so much for watching. Happy eating.